Today we're gonna make an artificial sun. <laughs> Just look at all this. Oh my gosh! This will be a super powerful electric art lamp. And I will use some graphite inserts from an ultra labus to get an electric arc. And the source is going to be the battery I used during my bike trip, the 1000 km trip to the mountains. We are just taking 54 volts and they go through the graphite inserts. And you will see what's going to happen. I'm clenching the graphite with these big crocodile clips. I see the cable isn't long enough. This wire acts as a ballast to prevent the short circuit. Let me try to make the arc. Wow! I felt the wave of heat and it's so powerful. Oh my, that was really bright. <laughs> Very strong heat, it's burning in my hands. And light is damn bright. It's like welding, but it's white. And the smell is pretty unusual. How many amperes was that? Can you check? 47. 84 amperes peak current. That was 4000 watts of light. <laughs> I'm gonna make a super powerful lantern. I will be using a simple satellite dish as a reflector. We took the dish and covered it with my favorite foil tape. And we're gonna put two graphite inserts instead of satellite feed horn and a lever for starting the arc. So if we move them apart, we're gonna extinguish the arc. And we're gonna get a super powerful lantern here. Alright, light it up. Wow, I saw the beam. Once again. <laughs> Such power! Fancy that, the electrodes didn't burn at all. They're very hot, but they are okay. And the sound was like... Like a blaster. <laughs> Look, the average voltage is 45 volts. Current is 42 amperes. Oh my gosh! Oh my, I feel so much heat right now! It hits me so hard, just like a beam of sun! Just look there, the electric plasma is coming out. What's gonna happen if we use 220 volts? Maybe in the next video. Ooh, Crap, did you see that? The electrodes got really hot, but they don't burn. Alright, let's carry out a field test. We're gonna try to attach this giant electric lamp to our electric bike. I can't even imagine what's going to happen now. This sunbeam is so powerful. That's a space bike. With a lantern piercing through the stars. Awesome! Let's do it again. Oh my gosh! Have a look at this! That's outstanding! That's hard! Extinguish it! Oh, someone's calling. Oh my! Its light is so bright! You can't even imagine this! Just try to imagine the sun beam shining in the dark. It is literally like sun, because when I put my hands in the light, I feel the heat. The same way you feel it from the real sun. Oh my, do you see this? Come on, that's impossible, people, that's crazy! Look at its power! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Do you see this weirdness? Such great power! <laughs> right into the neighbor's windows, right? <laughs> One electrode has cracked a little. It's so hot here. Copyet. The feeling is hard to describe. It's like I've been traveling through the space in some kind of bicycle spaceship. Friends, I really didn't expect to make such a powerful lantern. This can light up an entire field. What would you use it for? Write in the comments. Next video we're going to test the Uno's powerful wheel motor. Yes, you asked for it.